First step. Get yourself a 3 8 wrench. Yeah. 3 8 wrench goes on this nut. Take your bottle, stick your bottle under the port. If you have a smaller bottle, I suggest using that. You crack this, do like the whole turn, and then you hit the red reset. Well, right now the red reset's not, you know, pop, so I have it unhooked. Right. We're gonna put that in. Put that in. That's so, a, oh, that's a button. That's a button. Yeah. Oh, okay. So it's bleeding, and then you just take and shut it. If you can. And it lights right up. Alright. Yeah, definitely use a small bottle. <laughs> okay. Sorry. Oh, no, you're good, buddy. And then clean up your mess. So again, we don't have to do this. Uh, you should uh, never have to do it. Ne never have to do the unwiring either. Just no. Like, he just did that the demo, of course. Yes. And you should never, never have to, um, you know, bleed it unless you run out of oil or you have something going on. And also, the uh, we can only hit the red button once. Yeah. Well, the Genesis control will only allow it to hit you once, and then after it goes through another, you know, try. It will lock itself out and you have to hold it down for a certain number of seconds, which the seconds is on the back of it. Generally, generally they're like 30 to 45 seconds. All right. But if it doesn't work the first time, it's probably on the second, right? Yeah. Yeah. I didn't realize that was a button. So that's what we should have tried today. First. Uh, 